I'm not 100% sure if they're breaded. I actually think they are breaded. I have lost. All right, everyone, in this video, I am going to go over the last few days of my keto chow challenge and how I actually did with those breaded wings. So if that's what you're interested in, then keep on watching. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though, wanna hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid to give it all to me. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you. Not asking for much, but it's like the two of us are gold and the gold just me. What do you got to take a chance, take a chance on me? It's not your company, you are close, so be close to me. What do you got, cause I am gold and I'm gold. You're not really looking for a friend, so not the top for me. Never thought the loving would be easy, but it's all for free. Won't cost the thing, so it's yours. Earth the try, oh, this is the real thing. I'm down if you're down, boy. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you. Not asking for much, but it's like the two of us are golden. All right, you guys, today is Saturday, and it is my day off today. It is four o'clock. And my husband and I, let's see a little bit more. Whoop, let's see a little bit more of Jimmy. There we go. <laughs> my husband and I are going out for dinner. Like I had said in my last vlog, I decided to do this in a couple parts. Um, but it is my day off, like I had mentioned. It's four o'clock and we are heading into town. It takes about a half hour for us to drive into town. And we are going, where Jimmy? Roscoe's for wings. Yes, we are going to Roscoe's for wings tonight. So I will show you guys. I'm not 100% sure if they're breaded. I actually think they are breaded, but it's the only thing that I'm eating today. The only um, thing that I had to eat or drink so far is a coffee. And I actually didn't even break my fast because there was less than 50 calories in that cup of coffee because I ran out of heavy whipping cream because of the keto chow challenge so I'm all out of whipping cream so I do need to pick some of that up tonight as well too before we come back home so we are going on a little date night and we want to get there early because it is um, wing Wednesday tonight 85 cents wings so I'm thinking it's gonna be it's busy. Saturday or it's Saturday yeah Wing Sat Wednesday on Saturday no yeah they said that on the Facebook page Okay. <laughs> that's what it said it said today 85 cent wings so we'll see when we get there I guess I thought it was Wings Wednesdays only too. All right, let's bounce. Okay, so anyways, we are going to head into town today and I will show you guys what I get for supper and what Jimmy gets here as well too. Jimmy's watching his calories lately as well too, cutting down on the sweets. All right, we'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, this is where we're going for supper, you guys, is Roscoe's. They have the best wings in this month. Oh, would you follow me? Oh, would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Oh, would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that Alright guys, we are all done supper And all of a sunny, all of a sunny all of a sudden, it is windy and cold. Oh my gosh. Need to get to the car. All right, we will catch up with you guys in the next clip. All right, you guys, we are back home from supper. So yeah, the wings that I got are breaded. They, that's the only kind of wings that they have there. But that was my only meal of the day. So I probably had, 
I don't know, I don't even wanna guess. So probably 20 or 30 carbs were in that whole entire meal that I had, but I'm okay with that. I enjoyed a nice, a nice date night with Jimmy. And you know, you can't miss out on those little things when you do kind of plan a meal out and you just kind of have to go with it. I also did have a side Caesar salad as well too and water and it was really really good so we did that and stopped at superstore we had to get just a couple literally a couple groceries and then we came back home anyways yeah i also did want to mention that my coffee this morning i can't remember if i said it in the earlier clip um but my coffee was less than 50 calories so it didn't break my fast because i was all out of my heavy whipping cream so i only had a half a scoop of the collagen which was 40 calories two sweeteners and then the black coffee so that didn't break my fast so i had um it probably was like a 22 hour fast because i finished eating yesterday fairly early i might even had a 24 hour fast actually because i did have my last shake fairly early because of my last break um so anyways that is it for today that is all i'm eating and all that i'm drinking i'll probably maybe have some water later on um but that is it for today you guys so make sure you stay tuned and in the next clip i will be back on the keto chow challenge that's how i'm going to finish it off tomorrow is sunday so i need to do that tonight and to make my um keto chow make two of those shakes and i will have that tomorrow so i will see you guys tomorrow morning morning everyone it is sunday morning and i'm going to check today's ketones after i ate out last night so let's see if i'm still in ketosis after that because we know that those wings were breaded but like i said that was my only meal of the day so i can't imagine it bothering me too too much to be honest and it was worth it for sure all right, so let's check our ketones. So our ketones are 0.6. So that's down quite a bit from yesterday. And let's check my glucose. And then we will check the GKI and see if I'm still in ketosis. Ninety-three. So I will put that. Sorry, yeah, ninety-three. I will put that up on the screen um, and show you guys if I'm in low ketosis. I don't know. It might be awfully close. I'm not even sure if I am in ketosis right now. Good morning, everyone. Today is Sunday morning and I am just getting ready for work. I work today from 10 until 2.45 today, so a nice early shift, so I will be home at a decent time. Um, so I did check my ketone level and I am in low ketosis, so that's still a good thing even after those wings because I know they are breaded, but since it was the only thing that I ate yesterday, it was probably a good thing and kind of kept me in low ketosis because I know that whole meal was probably pretty higher in carbs, like pretty much took up my whole 20 net carbs for the day, but it was good. It was a good night out as well too, so. <laughs> so we are up this morning and having coffee together, Jimmy and I, and before I head to work. So I'm just going to sit and relax. Lucky I did have my meal pretty early last night, so I think I have done a... Uh, 17 or 18 hour fast um so that's pretty good i'm just going to sit and enjoy my coffee this morning with jimmy and then i will be off to work and i will probably take i'll take my first shake with me and then i'll have my other shake at supper time probably around like five o'clock so i will see you guys when i have my first shake all right you guys i ended up having my first shake half on my break at work and then half on the way home which was around three o'clock and now it is quarter to six and to be honest with you guys i am not hungry at all but i am going to drink my last shake and sip on that so today is sunday and 
that is it, you guys. That is the end of the challenge. So I finally completed it all and I feel absolutely amazing, you guys. So yeah, I think I'm back in ketosis for the most part. I'm in low ketosis. That one day I was in moderate ketosis before we went out for supper. And yeah, so I think I'm on the right track again. Tomorrow what I plan on doing, which is Monday, um, in the morning I'm gonna do a weigh-in. I'll do a final weigh-in with you guys. And then I'm also going to do um, my final thoughts and just how I felt throughout the whole thing. Um, so I'm going to do that as well on Monday morning. And then, yeah, I'll probably have it up for you guys on Wednesday, which you'll be watching this already on Wednesday. But I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it, to be honest. But I will give more enough of an update tomorrow. But for now, Jimmy and I are going to watch some TV. I think 90 Day Fiance is going to be on. Well, tomorrow, my plan is, like I mentioned before, is to do um, just a day or two of one meal with the keto chow, just so that I can get used to like having meals again, right? So that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. But for now... I am going to have my last shake on this Sunday night and we will see you guys in the morning for the final weigh-in. Give my results. Um, my final weigh-in is what you see there, which was awesome. I think it was 143. And we are going to check our ketones. And hopefully I can stay in ketosis. Even if it's low ketosis, I'm still happy with that. But let's see what my ketones are. So they are 1.6. So they are back up after eating those wings, which is absolutely awesome. And let's check our glucose. And yeah, I feel really, really good. So like I said, hopefully I can just stay in ketosis. And I'll probably check my ketones, I would say, maybe for... Um, the next day or two just to make sure that the foods that I'm going to be eating isn't affecting me. Let's see what my glucose is. And 72. Wow, that's awesome. So I will put up the screen. I, I want to say that that's going to be moderate or even maybe high ketosis, but I will put that up on the screen right now. Good morning, you guys. All right, so I am going to give my final thoughts on the keto chow challenge now that i have completed the whole week and i feel absolutely fantastic so i have been in uh, moderate ketosis now and uh, i feel absolutely on top of the world <laughs> so it's crazy what a week can do you guys so this is your sign to try some sort of fast to get back on track if you're struggling if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that I've been struggling since Christmas time. And that's a, that's a full two months and I was legit struggling. Um, it was really, really hard to stay on track. I would stay on track and then I would have a few cheat days, right? Um, you know what, this has done like a world of wonder for me. I know a lot of people struggle and say that they don't wanna do a fast just because they're scared of maybe binging or feeling like they're going to overeat once they do start eating again, whether they are doing an egg fast or what have you. But I find a fast gets me into ketosis. And when I'm into ketosis, I want to stay there and I want to stay on track and I want to keep going, right? Um, so that's what motivates me when I do fast. And um, I feel like this was the best choice for me. Um, I did have... Uh, cheat well I don't even want to call it like a cheat day I just went off plan for the keto chow because it was the opportunity for me and what is this hair doing it was um, an opportunity for me and my husband to go out on a date night because I was off that day I usually get one day off a week and it just happened to be on a weekend so we were able to spend the day together and go out for supper and we haven't had wings in a while so that's what we chose and it was worth it um I felt fully satisfied and felt absolutely fine after I had the But yeah, I encourage you guys to maybe look into doing a fast, whether it's the Keto Chow Challenge or if it's some sort of other fast. If you've never tried an egg fast, that's also good. There's a lot of ways that you can make eggs. It's not just having hard boiled eggs and fried eggs all day, you guys. I have done that an egg fast twice and there's a lot of different recipes that you can make with it. You guys, I have lost 
five point six pounds, I believe it was, and I'm I'm thrilled about it. I feel like I'm on the right track, and I just want to get back down into the one thirties. You know what I mean? Like my comfortable is like one thirty one thirty three to one thirty eight. That gives me five pounds because obviously it's really hard to stay, you know, exactly one weight forever. Um, but if I kind of stay in the 130s or even the, towards the higher 130s, I'm okay with that. I'm even feeling good right now. Like, let's be honest, right? And uh, you know what? I'm just glad that I completed it. It was actually one of the main things that I wanted to do prior to summertime is to get back on track because we do a lot of camping it's summertime, we have barbecues, you know, we can have people outdoors. So hopefully that will still be a thing in the summertime and to have barbecues and get togethers outside. So you know what, I just wanted to tackle it before summer because I know me and once once those events start coming, it's really easy, easy for me to get off plan, especially now I'm at, at goal, right? That's just what happens when you're at goal, you kind of uh, feel a little bit more lenient and I feel that that's how this all started, to be honest. So I just want to keep it under control and do my best to stay on top of those keto meals and stay in ketosis as best as I can. So that is my result. And those are my final thoughts that it was absolutely fantastic to accomplish. And I want to let you know going forward what my plan is. So my plan is to have the two meals a day and they will be keto meals and i'm going to keep my calories around like 12 to 1300 because that's usually my losing calories um and stay under my 20 net carbs and limit my sugar alcohols because that's done wonders and i don't even crave those things right now because i know um in moderation it's definitely good and it's a nice treat let's say if you're road tripping or um you know what i mean just going to the movies or something like that special those definitely come in handy, but for having them all all the time, every day, it, it was becoming a problem, right? So I'm gonna limit the sugar alcohols as well. And that's, that's gonna be my plan, you guys. I'm just gonna go back to regular kind of maintenance, a little bit lower maybe on the calories to see if I can get back into the 130s at least. Anyways, that's only three pounds away. So uh, that's my goal. If I don't get there and if I'm kind of like, happy happy where i am right now then that's okay too right um you know don't be too hard on yourself you guys right that's one thing through a weight loss journey is everybody gets really discouraged really easily and it causes a weight gain i'll be honest i've gone through that since christmas i've shown you guys in videos how i do how i was struggling um and it's just important for you guys to keep that mindset positive it's mind over matter get back on that train. I feel like when you change your mind, you change your life. And I've said that before in a video, but I, I truly believe it. Once you set your mind to something, the rest will just come. And you guys can do it, whether you're doing a fast or whether you decide to go back to maybe strict keto, maybe tracking total carbs, whatever it is. And you may need to try a few different things, just like I did. I remember I did the whole, the total carbs in January. Um, I was doing like no sugar alcohols or any treats in February. <laughs> and you know what? I think it just took a fast to really get me to really commit and to stay on track. And it was perfect because it was easy. I didn't have to think about meals and I'm busy. I'm a full-time working mother and wife, right? I work two jobs to make up for those 40, 45 hours, but um, I needed meals that was on the go as well too, that I could stick to, and it was perfect for me. So I highly recommend you guys giving a fast a try, and that is my plan going into the weeks to come. So you will see videos with keto meals, what I eat in a day, keto, and maybe even some what's for dinner videos as well too. So make sure you guys keep on watching my channel. All right, everyone, that's the end of the video, and that is the end of my Keto Chow Challenge. Thank you guys so much for following along. I appreciate you all, and thank you for all the kind comments of encouragements down below. And make sure that you're sharing my videos. We are almost over the hump of 800. We're working our way towards 1,000, so I would love it if you guys would share my videos. Make sure that you leave me a comment down below as well, too. I love interacting. I, I always respond to every comment that's down below. And make sure that you're hitting that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.